Cora and her sister Alice leave London and arrive in New England to join their father, the commander of a British garrison. Under his command is Duncan, Alice's betrothed. But war breaks out between the English and the French. This kill is mine. My rifle was quicker than your arrow. <laughs> What's quick is your lying tongue. My arrow got him while you were still fumbling around for the trigger. Snail spit. Dirty socks. <laughs> <laughs> Renama Biwa Huntarada Kolkot. We pay homage to your strength, to your fleetness, and to your courage. We are sorry to have been the instruments of your death, brother. But we are grateful for the bountiful gift of your flesh and hope that you are juicy and tender because our belt buckles have been rubbing up against our backbones for far too long a time now. Land ahoy! Yeah! Hooray! Look, it's Portland! Oh. My hat! My poor little hat! We're in the new world now, Alice. We'll not be needing them anymore. I'd go find Duncan. Cora? Might I be of help, miss? That's most kind of you. Cora! This gentleman has very kindly offered to give us a hand with our baggage. Oh! Oh! Our belongings! Stop, thief! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> our clothes, our jewels, everything lost. Nothing could be worse than this. Nothing could be worse, you say? You spoke too soon. My poor pink frock. Look at you. If Duncan should see you now. It's no laughing matter. If only he truly were here. Perhaps that soldier could help us. Cora, wait! Cora, would you kindly stop and come back here? I'm sorry, miss. We're at war. I believe we're owed an explanation. My sister and I just arrived from England and the most dreadful things have been happening to us. Hmm? Well, I said... Lean on me, mate. Oh, the French have attacked the colonies. Our roads to Port Edward are blocked. But we must go there to join our father. I'm sorry, miss, but right now we're at war. War? You're to proceed to Fort Edward, Duncan. We need reinforcements there within two days. 
But Cora and Alice. Were His Majesty's soldiers duty first. Hmm. The smoke is rising. I shall leave forthwith, Colonel Monroe. Here. Oh, is that really for me? Thanks. Hey, everyone. Look at the knife Uncas gave me. It's great. It's a beauty, Liam. Your venison was delicious. That's thanks to Mary's wonderful cooking. Thank you. Yes, my teeth did a dance of happiness. The soldiers are looking for men to enlist in the militia. Are you thinking of joining up, Liam? Of course we're going to. We'll show those Frenchmen a thing or two. Bang, bang, bang! If you don't fight for your country, you're a coward, right, Hawkeye? Did I ever tell you about the time when I was your age and a puma attacked me in the forest one day? Mm -mm. I was over near Hanson Rock, and all of a sudden, there he was. Well, I didn't have much time to think things over. If I didn't kill him, he sure would have killed me. Luckily, I was quicker than he was. Hmm. Apparently, it was a very old puma. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he was. But he taught me that there's only one justification for killing. Survival. And don't you forget it, Liam. Soon. The Johnson Farm! The Hurons. They did not come to steal. No, they came to kill. This is the black circle of war. The Hurons have sealed an alliance with the French army. All English settlements are likely to suffer harm. Do you think they're in danger? Father and Duncan are brave soldiers. What about us? What do we do? Well, we're certainly not going back. Let them do their worst. And I try to meet my home. <laughs> Aren't you worried about your grandchildren? They're in no danger whatsoever. They're coming from Portland in a caravan. Why are you making that face? That road's plenty safe. Not anymore, Granny. Where do you blokes think you're going? To Fort Edward. Military convoys only from now on. But we have to get to the fort. Then walk on your bloody feet, mate. <laughs> hey, now, see stay here, back, I you. Oh. I said stay back. Oh. <clears throat> hey, oh. put me down, you blooming idiot. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, we heard you say you were going to Fort Edward. Your hearing is perfect, miss. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get there too, you can bet on it. We can't pay our passage, we've no money. But if you could take us along, we'd be most appreciative. It's all right, you can go ahead, but at your own risk. We're back on the road. Oh, good, oh, good. It's okay. We don't need money here, miss, but courage. Did you bring any along with you? You can bet on it.
Then you filthy coward! He is not running away. He is going to call the rest of his tribesmen. We've got to get away from here before it's too late. It's already too late. Oh! Ah, excellent. One shot and you dropped him like a weasel, eh? He was not a weasel. He was a man. <laughs> and unarmed. You saved my soldiers' lives. And they are men as well. All right, Major. Now it's your turn to save lives. There's a caravan on its way from Portland. If you don't warn them, it'll be a massacre. My orders, sir, are to bring these soldiers to Fort Edward. The Colonials, I fear, are on their own. So you're saying that your orders count more than their lives? Very well, so be it. I'm terribly sorry. The white man sees everything except for his own folly. We'll save them. Ha! Look over there, Alistair Fawn. Isn't he sweet? Absolutely adorable. Yes, they're wonderful. You just have to make sure you cook them as soon as you've skinned them, otherwise they get as tough as an old beaver. You'd really eat a little baby? How could you? We eat what Mother Nature offers up, Miss. Deer, beavers, snakes. Snakes? snakes? Uh. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't talk, but he gets his meaning across pretty well. Huh? The Hurons rode by here about an hour ago. This isn't snake soup, is it? Singularly palatable. What's it made of? Huh? Oh, my Lord! Oh, no, it's raw! Yeah. Uh -huh. Slight of hand! <laughs> Bravo, Jeremy! What are you doing here all alone, miss? I was admiring the view. It's lovely, with that long, moving strip of fog. Do you see it? It seems to be coming towards us. I'm afraid fog doesn't ride on horseback. James, Isaac, all of you, defensive positions. <laughs> Women and children into the wagons.
Without your help, we'd all be dead by now. Thank you. It's unusual to see the Hurons around these parts. They formed a war alliance with the French under General Montcalm. Those lying Indians, you can never trust them. Now you've learned to tell the difference between the good ones and the bad. <laughs> We came to warn you of the danger, only a bit too late. But they've retreated thanks to you. They'll be back tomorrow morning at sunrise in greater force. The darkness won't protect us for very long, friend. We have to come to a decision now. This is not a bad place, but they far outnumber us. There's only one way out of here. You must be delirious, chum. Uh, we'll never get across. The current is too strong. We'll form a human chain. Who's the strongest? All right, you're the first. <laughs> Come on, all the men. We have no time to lose. children. Come on, ladies, don't be afraid. You're allowed to take your clothes off if they're too cumbersome. Stepping on. It looks like English kittens have no love for water. I did not know there were any kittens with eyes that flame quite so much. There are, but you have to watch out for their claws. I think we can make it, but we have to appeal to the spirits for help. It's your turn. Don't worry about us. We'll see you later. Let's go. Surprise way. Let's go. Fort Edwards isn't far. Today was not our day to die, but I wasn't sure for a while. Hey! 
Bankers. Alive and well. The fish managed to make his way upstream and now comes out of the woods with the wings of a bird. Miss. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. You too, Mr. Stevens. The Hurons would have killed us if those three brave men hadn't sacrificed their lives for us. They're not dead. Cora, dearest, you're obviously very much upset. You must do your best to forget them. There's one of them I'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> 